afternoon. I'm Pamela Van Meer, Kawartha 411 News, and this is your 5 at 530. Your top news headlines from in and around the city of Kawartha Lakes for Wednesday, July 8th, sponsored by Income Tax Plus in Lindsay, family owned and operated since 1988. The ground is cracking, the grass is dead, and even the flowers are thirsty. Due to the extremely dry conditions across the city of Kawartha Lakes, the fire department will be implementing a municipal-wide burn ban effective tonight at midnight. They say dry conditions can be extremely hazardous and residents need to be cautious while continuing to experience the heat warnings and be mindful of actions such as disposing of cigarette butts on the side of the road, in park and trail areas, and even in small planters. tonight at midnight. A municipal-wide burn ban will come into effect. This is another proactive measure to help keep our community safe. Extreme heat temperatures combined with dry vegetation can be the perfect combination to start a fire. The ban will be in effect until further notice and includes a complete ban on fireworks, campfires, bonfires, and burn barrels. Please dispose of your cigarette butts responsibly and not on the side of the road. I know there is a lot going on right now, so your continued support is appreciated. Thank you. The southern portion of the city of Kawartha Lakes, along with Lindsay, is currently under a severe thunderstorm watch. Environment Canada says conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms that may be capable of producing strong wind gusts, large hail, and heavy rain. A few thunderstorms may hit severe thunderstorm warning criteria this afternoon. And the main threats are heavy downpours and wind gusts of up to 90 kilometers an hour. The City of Kawartha Lakes Police Service is investigating numerous incidents of graffiti that took place on the west side of Angeline Street South between Mary Street West and Kent Street West overnight last night. Police say numerous bus shelters, traffic signs, hydro poles and buildings in the area were targeted. Orange and black spray paint was used for the graffiti. Kawartha Lakes Police Service is asking anyone with information to contact them or Crime Stoppers. A favorite local fall event has been canceled. The United Way for the City of Kawartha Lakes announced the cancellation of this year's annual Crayola sale. The event has taken place every fall for the last 30 years and raised more than $1 million for the United Way City of Kawartha Lakes. Representatives say the decision to cancel this year's event was based on safety and health concerns due to the ongoing pandemic. Organizers say, though, that they are currently working toward an alternative to the annual sale. We'll keep you posted. It's time now to take a look at the weather. Our weather is sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincom Plus Realty and Lindsay, a team that gets your home sold. We're looking at a 30% chance of showers early this evening with a risk of severe thunderstorm as well. Thursday, a high of 35 degrees with a 30% chance of showers, sunny in the morning and early afternoon, and then a mix of sun and cloud. With the Humidex, it will feel like 43 on Thursday, a low down to 20 overnight. Friday, a high of 32 degrees with cloudy skies and a low of 19 overnight with a 40% chance of showers. And on Saturday, 29 degrees with a 60% chance of showers and a low of 19 overnight. That's your weather, sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincom Plus Realty in Lindsay. That's your news for Wednesday, July 8th. For a look at all of the day's news in depth, you can go to our website, kawartha411.ca. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great night.